This video is all about creating a sustainable online business and how you can create your own online economy just by working a few hours a week from home. I hope you enjoy. So welcome to Profile 3 TV and today we're joined by Phil Carrick from HowToStackTheBoss.com. So thank you very much for coming in and chatting to us today. <laughs> My pleasure, Kieran. Thanks for having me. No, oh, brilliant. You wouldn't mind. So, a very interesting name. Uh, so, it stands out a lot. Uh, you wouldn't mind explaining a little bit about what the the business is and your background. Yeah, of course. Yeah, how to sack the boss dot com. Uh, it's a, yeah, a bit of a quirky name, really. And um, it, I, I suppose some could say it's a little bit cheesy, but um, but what I wanted to do was I wanted to show people how to how to uh, create their own own online assets. Mm -hmm. And, um, and that's essentially what I do, because I was in corporate for sort of 20 years or something like that, and I had one job, one interview, so I was very lucky. And then all of a sudden, uh, tragedy hit the family. I became a single parent of uh, four-year-old twins, and, um, and I didn't want to put them into a crash, and I wanted to be there for them. So, so I started to Google, you know, how to make money online. Some of my friends were doing it, and I found some some scammers some complete rascals yeah. and um and i sort of got sucked into the whole make money online thing and and f for for a few years saw my income go from there down to there and um from there i thought right okay the, i want to try and um not necessarily shake up the industry but i want to inject a bit of honesty and transparency in the the industry because at the time it had a bit of a bad name it's not so you know it's a lot better now thankfully so i started creating businesses and um and sold sold a business and um and then started to um started to train people Incredible. and just and and i've been you know asked to asked to speak on stage in um in london and a few other places and it's it's been been a whirlwind it's been it's been fun i really enjoy helping people and this is what we're doing now we're putting together a community of like-minded individuals who really want to create their own economy mm -hmm. because the economy can be up or down as you well know yeah. um and 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 that's really what i'm doing i'm putting together a a um a, a community of people who want to want to learn how to create their own online assets Yes, excellent. And I know we were talking just before, as we are saying, having assets online is, is incredible. And yes. a lot of people don't understand or see the value in them just yet. But at the end of the day, if you have an asset, a property online that's bringing you traffic and you're generating income from it, then it's uh, incredible, absolutely incredible. And you can do it with very little um, investment, I guess, a, a lot of time to no overnight success. No, no, <laughs> no absolutely not. And that's... It's all about managing expectations, and that's a huge thing, here And I'm pleased you alluded to that because it's not an overnight success. That was the that was the internet a few years ago, and you even see people even now saying, "Look, make money online um, within within twenty or thirty days." No, it's a it, it's like any business. It's like your business. It takes time to create. Um, people think because they can do it from home that it's just a hobby. As soon as you look at it like that, you then get hobbyist returns. You know, you don't get real business returns. If you if you look at it from a real business perspective, then the the it, really the the opportunities are endless. Mm -hmm. Very good. That's good. That's a good mindset. Uh, you know, you look at this hobby part time. Yeah. Then that's what you're going to get out of it. So, in your program, so it's an online training community. Then, so people sign up and you take them through. Uh, proven steps that will help them on their journey then is that basically uh, the concept yeah absolutely um what what we have on our blog is is just daily um tips tricks just th things that um uh, people who are either looking to start a business online or maybe somebody who's already got a business online they just want a few few pointers um the blog i've had i've sort of rehashed the blog and and we were talking yeah, before yeah. before camera content. You know, content can drive me crazy. I'll sit there and I'll start to write. I get writer's block. I'll have to go for a walk. And um, so so the content we're we're building that up. So if you visit the the blog, it might look a little bit um, scarce at the moment. But um, but behind the blog is the is the membership site that I'm recording all the videos for. Um, there's going to be over fifty hours of of, of videos and. Um, 
everything from from building a blog to sending traffic to the blog to everything uh, all uh, good stuff uh, we'll, we'll have some fun as well amazing and as you mentioned 50 hours of recordings as well that's incredible that's yeah. a lot of content yeah that, yeah yeah wow so <laughs> a lot of a lot of knowledge as well so very interesting and and um do you think that there's still opportunities then for people to do to build a, an online business um, part time or really should be full time? What's your thoughts on oh that? Oh my goodness, there's there's more opportunities than ever now, Karen. You know, people think the internet's saturated. It, it's saturated. Absolutely not. There's more people coming on the internet every every single month. You can see, fa you know, Facebook, Pinterest, mm -hmm. um, Instagram. They're all growing, and there's a reason why they're still growing. Um, and with with an online business, you can absolutely do it in your spare time. You know, if you've got a nine to five job, if there's if there's such a thing, if you <laughs> a nine to nine job, yeah. if you've got a nine to nine job, you can still do it when you when you get home. But that's where the discipline kicks in. You have to have discipline. Um, you have to have a, a a strategy as well, and that's where I come in. I I, I give people strategies. I say, right, this is what we need to do. This is what you need to do. If you've only got five hours a week, let's let's manage those five hours productively. Very good. And a lot of people that come to us maybe would have, a, a, like a, they've got a concept, a product or an idea, and they want to sell it. For example, clothing or like the hand making uh, the items themselves, and they're going to markets and that, but they haven't explored the online opportunities. They mm -hmm. haven't seen or, or thought of trying to mass sell uh, their items online and um, back to what you're saying there's don't have a strategy don't have a, an idea of what to do and it's a, I can understand why it's so daunting like where do you even start so I guess if, if uh, your plan brings people through from start uh, from start to finish uh, all the way through to earning money as well that, that that's the, the course content is it oh absolutely I uh, my uh, really, my my USP, uh, uh, if you can call it that, would be to to take beginners, and and get them making their first commissions online. Amazing. I'm not talking about making their first ten thousand online. <laughs> That's just a, a pipe dream yeah. for many. Mm -hmm. Because if you're not making anything, what's the point in going to ten thousand? The gap is too big. It's it it, it, it it's it's unachievable. Mm -hmm. But if you start at a at a foundation level. And, and make your first commissions online, then you can just scale. And I show people how to scale as well. Incredible. So there's opportunities then to make a, a second income online as well? Oh, of course, absolutely. That's where most of my members come from. They're already, they've already got a job. And, um, and then what they want to create a second income with the, with the goal really to replace their, their first income. But you have to start somewhere. Yeah. You don't just go into it and say, right, I'm going to... I'm going. I'm going to sack my boss. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I wouldn't suggest anybody do does that straight away. But you know, get, uh, learn the learn the basics of um, uh, business, uh, building a business online. Uh, make your first commission, and then, and then think about scaling that. Very good. And the people can work in different industries or different. Yeah. Wow. Absolutely any in industry, uh, providing you've got a passion. That's the that's the thing here because if you haven't got a passion, it becomes a chore, doesn't it? I mean, my passion is not content. Um, so when I sit down, that, that's the likes of yourselves. I know you, you've got your own content writers. So that's been, that's uh, looking quite uh, quite good at the moment. No, that's exactly I that's exactly appreciate that. That's what you're saying is we know the we know the importance of content. Mm. But uh, yeah, one of the first thing I did was <laughs> bring in kind of the exact same I writing content. I'm sure a lot of people do have that. Is it's tough. You've got the ideas in your head and the concepts, but to take four or five hours out uh, yeah. and sit down and craft a beautiful piece that uh, you want to share online, and then the challenge is, as you know, is is getting. Uh, you don't want one or two people seeing that. You want hundreds or ideally thousands of people to see that, and yeah. that's uh, when you're starting. That's the probably the part that's the, the hardest um, is, is getting that traction and knowing how to do it. So well, ab absolutely. And, um, you know, there was a, a few years ago, I just, um, again, it's about a passion. We have, you know, we uh, a little dog, a particular breed of dog. And I thought it'd be a bit of a laugh to create this, this Facebook page and then create this website around this breed of dog. 
and before we knew it really and it just shows you if you've got a passion you can build a business in anything and I, I, I know some people who, who, I've, who I've mentored who have got some real obscure niches that you would never believe but just going back onto the dogs, you know, the, the Facebook page now has got nearly 400,000 likes. Uh, the, the website is getting thousands of visits a day. It's just, it's crazy. It really is. And, um, and from that, you can build an e-commerce store that, that attaches it. So there's, there's lots of opportunities, as you well know. But you have to start with that passion. Yeah. You, have to, you have to get off yeah. that thing you're sitting on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you just have to do it. Incredible because uh, it's funny. We're gonna we'll talk off camera again, <laughs> but I have a dog side as well. Have you? No way. <laughs> have you really? A type of breed. Of oh dog. wow! Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Very unique. Very niche uh, breed of dog, and it ranks very well. I don't have the Facebook page though. So oh well, well, that, well yeah. yeah we chat. But again, in, in search engines, it ranks very well and yeah. it brings in traffic, and that exactly. Uh, I, 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 I could tell you a list of niches that we'd have sites in. <laughs> so we would run not only for clients or own sites, <coughs> but we'd have a lot of niche sites as well because exactly what you're saying. So I understand as, as oh, well as good, a, good. how powerful it can be to and, and the opportunities out there. And you wouldn't believe it. You just wouldn't believe the opportunity. So very interesting. So does it, does it in, in your experience, does it take a lot to um, start? Does it not take, take a lot of investment? to get started in, in learning how to build a brand online? No, absolutely not. No, for myself, it took a lot of investment because I was finding the wrong people, Making un mistakes. unfortunately, Karen. But it's, um, it's just life. Uh, if, you find, if you find the right, right people, then um, no, it doesn't. Absolutely not. You know, you can get started for, you know, a couple of hundred pounds, a couple of hundred dollars. You know, I'm, I'm all in dollars, as you are probably, because it's a global business. Um, so, so I deal in dollars a lot. I've got a lot of members over in, in America. But no, a couple of hundred dollars, my goodness, you can, you can get started. But it, it just, it takes the passion and, and the action. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and to be quite honest, it doesn't really even take a couple of hundred. You know, that's, that's the higher end. Amazing. Yeah. But again, you've emphasised their passion or your interest, so you really need to be... Should you be an expert in something? No. So, don't need to be an expert. No. Frankly. We've all got access to Google. Yeah, amazing. So yeah. again, because I'm, I'm thinking actually, you know, your thoughts on... Exactly, like, I don't, ha I don't own a dog. I don't have a dog. Oh, do you not? No? no. Okay. But I have it. So I'm not an expert in the site. But as you say, there's a lot of content on the on the site. Oh, so it's very interesting. So incredible. you don't. So it's, it's it's really interesting to see you know your thoughts on that. That you don't need to be a, an expert, but you you have to have a passion. Oh, that's that's, that's key. Important. So that's key. I see so many people getting into um, getting into a niche that um, they they think they can monetize that that niche. Yeah. Um, so, um, so uh, I don't know, uh, leather handbags, for example, mm. high-end leather handbags, very competitive market. And I see people creating a blog over those only because they think they can, the, the profit is, is good on that. And then within a few months, they lose interest and they then throw up their arms and say it doesn't work, where it clearly does. If they had started from a different perspective and, and, and really, how can I help people? That's the biggest thing. How can I help people? And everything else will everything else will happen after that. Excellent. So again, I mean, I'm just intrigued by the, the 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 niches then as well. You've got me thinking. So someone could be, I know, Game of Thrones fan and go funny. I've got a Game of Thrones uh, <laughs> Facebook page. <laughs> oh, very good. We're definitely going to have to swap uh, links after this. I think. And yeah. I haven't even watched Game of Thrones you're, ever. You're kidding? No, me, no. And I was over in California. Somebody mentioned Game of Thrones. Yeah, yeah. And, and I thought, okay, just for a laugh. And again, I do things just for a laugh. I'll create this Game of Thrones Facebook page. Mm. And, and I, I throw up a, a, a very simple ad on Facebook, Kieran. And within, within days, it was hitting, it was hitting over 2,000 likes. It was incredible. So providing there's a, the, you've got passion mm. and, there's, and, and there's a hungry crowd. Yeah then you, you can create a business in anything. It's incredible. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, very interesting. So so the process um, for, for going online, then it would be to passionate, test it, find a niche. And you're using a mix of social media and websites then as well. So you're using loads of different 
uh, I guess options. If if I like social media but didn't like websites, would I need to have, or should I have both, or would would social media be okay? Social media is fine to start with, really. You, and you can absolutely. And to be quite honest, it's a it's a very you know a very good idea you've just alluded to there. If if you're ever unsure of the niche, just start with social media. It's free to create a Facebook page, mm -hmm. or a business page, um, and then then just start to drive people to that to that page. You know all about wow. that anyway <laughs> with your social media department. But uh, just start to drive people to that page. Mm -hmm. See what people are talking about. Whether or not they have questions, they have problems. Um, whether or not um, uh, you, there's a problem that can be agitated slightly, and then whether or not you can provide a solution. If you can provide a solution, then that can be your market research, your Facebook page. Once you've got that and you think, yeah, I'm happy with that, I've still got the passion, then you can create a blog, and the rest is just history, as they say. Incredible, eh? Do you see a, a big change in the global economy in regards to jobs and and we all used to be looking for a job for life. Do you think things are, are changing and more people are looking for different lifestyles? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, that, that would be the biggest thing. There isn't a job for life. You know, even if the, even in the, the industries where there what you were considered to have a job for life, even those industries now, there's no such thing. Yesterday, Laura Ashley, they, they announced 40, 40 high street shops going. That's a big brand. Mm -hmm. You know, there's so many of them, and even even the, the the video streaming services. I remember going down to Extra Vision on a Friday evening and smelling the popcorn and and wading through your your DVDs. Routine was it? Yeah, it was ritual. Yeah, ritual. yeah, it was. It was a ritual. But even that now, you know, and and it, it's it's a real shame. So, so you've really got to you've got to decide now that you, you can't wait for somebody else to pay for your future. Mm -hmm. You can't wait for the government. You can't wait for your employer. Um, you know, you've just got to, you, you've got to do something part-time. Do something part-time. You have the discipline. Build a business online. Because everybody can do it. Honestly, everybody. Um, I left school with one O level. And that's, you know, not these GCSEs. That's that's when exams were real exams, Gail. I'm, <laughs> I know, but I'm only joking. No, no, but there was one, one O level. And... Um, and my goodness, if I can do it, anybody can, honestly. And likewise, I wouldn't have been uh, regarded as a genius in school. <laughs> I'd be more towards the back of the class, yeah. if, if even not outside the class. But again, no, as you say, we're, we're, we're all making a, a living on, online, which is the, the key thing. And then, so the, the, the economy is changing, and, and retail is a perfect example of that. What's happened, my word, and where it's going, but all online, funny. Um, Working from home then, uh, do you think that is going to just explode as well? So, so many more people are working from home or working from non-traditional offices. Uh, uh, yeah, I think, think that's, yeah, it's gonna be, that's going to be a big, big play in the future. Yeah, there's going to be an explosion in the next two to five years. Absolutely. Um, and, and really, that's what I want to teach people to do. How to work from home, how, how, to, how to really, st you know... Um, to get away from the pressures of the daily commute, etc. Because, you know, I, I had it for years and I didn't particularly enjoy it. Um, but saying that, again, we have to manage expectations. The, this isn't something that happens overnight. It's a real business. So you have to put in the time and the effort. But the thing is, you know, working from home, it it's, you know... It, some benefits. Absolutely, yeah, <laughs> some benefits. And, yeah, and the good thing is, you know, if you're a traveller... Like myself, you can you can work from anywhere, providing you've got a stable internet connection, and that's a that's a big bonus. Of course, so you're one of these people I envy, and I, I despise in a, in a nice way, of course. <laughs> so you could be sitting on a you're going to tell me on a beach somewhere in hotel oh, just checking no, email. No, no. <laughs> I think you often see the pictures on Instagram with somebody with a laptop and there, and and the caption is "This is my office for the day." It, it it rarely is. I mean, you know, I would I would bring my laptop away, but I'd be stuck in a hotel room somewhere. Because of Wi-Fi, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah absolutely. You will do. But but it, it, I mean, I, I I remember a few years ago, um, a good friend of mine. He went over to he went over to Spain to open a um, open a bar, and I thought at the time that is such a cutthroat business. It's so difficult, you know, and uh, and there's so many hours involved. Mm -hmm. And I just thought now, you know, if if you had an online business, you could still move to places like that. 
and you wouldn't have to worry about the pressures of opening up a, a, a brick and mortar business or the pressures of having to compete with your competitors and it's you know it's such a such a big bonus really yeah, to and compete in the global marketplace mm. and not the, the high street. Absolutely, yeah. And and you look at in fairness, and, and I would say this a lot, is <clears> you don't look. So we get all this advice, the advice come, and and we all have to uh, take it in and analyze it and make decisions for ourselves. But you often look at not what people are saying, but look what they're doing. So you're building multiple niches online and profitable businesses. And you look at the likes of uh, Amazon, one of the biggest retailers mm. in the world. They don't have many shops yep. and they might bring in some shops and have a mix but most of their business is online and they continue to grow online and that's where and i guess many of the traditional retailers have all moved uh, online and are trying to compete online but they're still paying the rates and the leases and the fixed costs the electric of the uh, traditional the old industry model and it's it's killing them as we see Devon, you mentioned uh, one brand Devon. yeah Devon. so many more and house of fraser We'd list twenty of them. Oh, I'm sure we could we uh, absolutely, and you could you could also list Brexit. Yeah, good. you know because the the economic and political climate's uncertain at the moment, mm. and you really don't know the way. Uh, you know, c certainly traditional businesses, mm. you can see the beads of sweat at the moment because the the, the because of the uncertainties, and you've you know you've really got to get into the online space. You mm. have to. It's it's essential. Take control. Yeah, hundred yeah, percent. And and I know you're you're advocating uh, having your main job and having a part time yeah. job or yeah. the online doing mm -hmm. it in your part time. It w would that not be very stressful and put a lot of pressure on? Or what's your thoughts around uh, how many hours uh, we we work a day? I work a few. Sadly, <laughs> <laughs> I've <laughs> heard you do actually. Oh, yeah, yeah. Stuff, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, it really. De it's only stressful. It depends how many hours your your day job is. Mm. You know, if, if you're in a particularly high profile and um, high octane uh, day job, then yes, it can it can be. You know, and and we, again, we have to sort of manage expectations here. You're coming home, you're tired, you want you've got family time, and and you want to chill out for a bit. And then a lot of the time, the last thing you can be bothered with is spending two hours in front of the computer until maybe one o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. But you know, Rome wasn't built in a day. You've got to do these things if you want to create a second income. And it doesn't have to be two hours. It can be an hour, really, really, Kieran. It doesn't need to be a lot of time just to go through training and to implement some small steps. As long as you're taking um, progressive steps every day, then you'll get there. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter if you put in 10 hours a day or one hour a day. It just means it takes a little bit longer, obviously. But um, no, you can definitely manage your time. You can manage your stress levels, hopefully, you know, and, um, but you've got to start. That's the thing. You've got to start because I know too many people will say, oh, well, next year I'll do it. Next year I'll do it, Phil. Just got to start it. And you'll find the time. You really will. If you really want to do it, unless you really love your boss, then, um, then, you know, you'll, you'll do it. If you want to sack your boss, then. Yeah. You know, you've got to have the discipline to do that. Incredible. And again, you know, there's so, so many things in common. You're saying, so I put my first video on YouTube. I think it was 2010. Oh, right. Okay. And uh, put up a collection of videos. And, <coughs> that. and uh, how do I, you can't believe how many times I kicked myself thinking if I'd have kept doing it and posting videos on I YouTube, know. where would I be today? I know. So back to, but I, uh, back to the, consistency and doing a little bit every day I stopped totally did it for I'm going to do this and it was five videos and stopped and um, and there's so many I can give you a lot of examples oh and me yeah and me one of the biggest things here in that you know pe people will ask me even when I'm um, e even when I'm, um, I'm doing live events if you could change th things if you could change one thing what would you change and I would say I would look after my email list a lot better than I did honestly because um, with an online business people look at email addresses whenever whenever people sort of opt in as we call mm -hmm. call it for um, um, either for a newsletter or a, or a free report or a free video or a free course so whenever they they, they leave their email address um, that 
for a, a business owner is one of your biggest assets, as you well know. Mm -hmm. But so many people think of it, oh, it's only an email address. I won't really bother. And that's the way I thought for years. And I had tens of thousands of people on my email address, on my email list. And, um, and, and really, I should have looked after them a lot, lot better than I did. Um, so that's that's what I would always say. Just look after your email list. Very good advice. I'm going to actually after this, I'm going to be talking to the team. To see how we get along. Very good. So good, Thank good advice. Um, Thank you. And you never, you're probably never, all of us never doing it enough. We, we need exactly. To, yeah. Needs to be a, a routine. So I guess my, my my last question would be, um, we're talking about entrepreneurs and starting up and uh, getting your own business or building your own brand online do you actually have to be an entrepreneur do you have to have a lot of experience or a hunger to grow your business online uh, or can anyone do it back to that's the thing that's the that's the word there the hunger that's all you need the hunger mm -hmm. you know people people put this umbrella up and they say well you know i'm an entrepreneur but are, are you really you know you might have had an idea you know a couple of years ago did you act on that mm -hmm. idea yeah, um, I follow a guy called Robin Sharma. He um, he wrote the 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 monk who sold his Ferrari, fabulous book. Of course, yeah. And um, he he always says that there's there's two things, there's mindset that everybody harps on about. There's mindset, mindset, mindset. You've got to have the mindset of an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. But he says mindset is no good without a heart set. He says your heart has to be in it. Incredible. So that's where the hunger comes from. So if you've got the heart set, mm -hmm. you can do this online. Amazing. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for coming in and My pleasure. educating us all about the opportunities <laughs> online. And um, even myself, I have to say, I, I forget, even though I'm in the space, that how many how many opportunities there are and how many things you can be doing. And back to we said Game of Thrones, but there's so many new things coming mm. out, new trends, new opportunities. So uh, I can see over the next couple of weeks, I'll be <laughs> thinking Cap's going to be back on Definitely, again. Definitely, so, that's the way to so do it. So if anyone wants to consume some of your content, reach out and get in touch or find out more about your, your courses, where, where's the best place for them to do that? Uh, well, that, that'll, be, that'll be my blog, Kieran. That's uh, howtosackthebosscom and also Facebook, just facebook.com forward slash howtosackthebosscom. That would be great. You'll see more and more content coming up, especially on the blog in the next couple, couple of weeks. I've got my video recording head on, so there'll be lots of content. I don't like writing content, so most of it's videos. Video and videos taking over the world, so yeah, yeah. It's, it's the best way to, get, to consume content too, and produce it without a doubt, so excellent. Well, thank you again for your time today, much appreciated. My pleasure, thanks very much, Kieran. Thank you Cheers. very much. Thank you. And thank you for watching uh, today's um, interview. Hopefully you found out some new ideas, new things that you might want to try out, and please do visit the links below the, this um, video or in the article and uh, connect with Phil and see uh, what he's doing and how he's developing and building his business online and training other people. This is Kieran from Profile3. We're the content marketing agency here in Springfield Road in Belfast. Hopefully we'll see you in tomorrow's video. Thank you again.